Hey everybody, welcome back. Trailer reaction time. And today I've got a blind trailer. I'm going in blind. I don't know anything about this one, except it's apparently HBO Max because it's in the corner. Today we're here to watch trailer number one for Locked Down. Actually, I guess I kind of know a little bit. I guess it's kind of a pandemic thing. I saw Anne Hathaway in the thumbnail. But other than that, I don't know. Jack and or its cousin, SH, you know what? Damn algorithm. And then I just swore. If you want to see this trailer without me and my not understanding how to make YouTube better face in the way, there's a link in the description below or something's popping up right about now. You can click on that. Check it out. Come on back. Watch me watch this. Then we'll geek out of it together. Should it be geek out worthy? You can also help support this channel in a whole bunch of new ways. We have a join button for membership with tiers and a whole bunch of other exclusive videos going up over there. Perks I'm not even listing yet. You can use my crying face as an emoji all over YouTube. Or you can check out the links in the description for patreon.com, The Eric Butts, a dollar a month, extra video every day, guaranteed. Um, we have a merch store link down there. And of course, uh, you can come join our Discord server. And as long as you don't be a dick, you get to come party with some of the coolest peeps I know. And all of that can be found in the description below. But I'll be here every single day giving you a daily dose of high energy, randomness, craziness, weirdness, like I do. Talking about movies, toys, geek culture, and other fun things, and lots of food soon. Um, video games too. Uh, <laughs> so I like to remind you that we will get through this. We We'll get through this together. And it can be really helpful and good for your mental health and to have kind of a mantra and say something like this daily out loud. Even if it's not this one, find one. It can help. You don't even know you need. Say it with me. We will get through this. We will get through this together. See? You feel better already. All right? Right? Yeah, I know. And things... I know. 2021 started off with a few nice days and it's like, oh, 2020 was crap. Here, hold my beer. Hold my year, as Mary said. Anyways, this is a <laughs> blind trailer. I've got nothing to say about it until I see it. Oh, but by the way, we're going to be all right. We have no choice. We have to be all right. <laughs> all right, let's watch. Hi, Paxton. We're in London's in total lockdown. We are all locked in a psychological prison of burning aloneness. How's Linda? She's somewhere in the house. Is there some type of issue? Ah! Oh, okay. We are fine. That all makes everything not okay, and nothing is okay. Linda said she was planning to end our thing. Nobody wants to live alone. For two weeks, we are locked together here. You know, you think I'm so happy and normal. No, I, I've never accused you of being happy and normal. Because I'm not! Oh, I'm I've been furloughed. Now there is literally zero purpose to my life. You're going to get provisions? We need milk, bread. Sorry, how many asses have you got? Piss off. <laughs> the nice people that I fired, they were fired because of me. It's not about the virus, it's about who I am and what I do for a living. You fired them well. Thank you. Is that a glass of wine? Yes. Yeah, it is. <laughs> We have a situation, Brexit, and all the major department stores are closing. They want everything out of the next four days. We have a problem. At Harrods, we have $4 million worth of jewelry. Someone's going to have to pack the valuables up. I believe you are a man who can be trusted. Yeah, I am. No, I can be trusted. It's going to have to be someone that we trust, so that means inevitably it's going to be me. What are you taking out of Harrods? A diamond. Since lockdown, I'm looking back on myself like that was then, and this is now. Yeah. The bastards who told me to fire those people, they are bad. We and I are good, and good is better than bad. You're talking about stealing a diamond, three million pounds. <laughs> Live wild or die, Linda. And I'm feeling I just wait for them to start making out. It's the most glamorous store in the world. I know all the security guards in the I know the security systems. I just get the gentleman's name. His name? Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe! Wow! What can go wrong? Lock out one last ride. Are we all the walk in heaven? Oh my god, my god! Forgive us huh? the sin of deception. Ago, we'd be doing this. Not me. And I'm feeling good. Oh, Doug Lyman. Okay. Well, yeah, that totally looks good to me. My, oh, because I clicked on another thing. Crap. Ah! There we go. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, that looks good. D Doug Lyman, who did the uh, Underworld movies, I believe, and some other stuff that I really enjoyed too. So that's cool. I'm down for the director. Cast looks fantastic. 
Uh, production looks all right. It looks a little bit cheap, but it's probably cheap within the context of what they need to do. I hope my camera battery doesn't die. I see it blinking. Um, I thought it was just going to be like a story, and I would have been fine with this, a story about you go into lockdown with somebody, kind of a new couple or something, and you break up, and then you have to spend lockdown living together. That could have been an interesting comedy all on its own. But this idea that their lives kind of fall apart, and they decide to steal a diamond, that actually is really kind of interesting. That makes it even more exciting. It's certainly more cinematic less uh, character study, but um, yeah, and I mean, I've, I've heard I got HBO Max because I pay for HBO, so might as well check that out, but uh, that looks pretty good to me. It's something I would totally watch, and I think I probably will, but how do you all feel about it? Does that look good to you? Are you excited for it? Does that catch you off guard? Did you think it was going to be more or less than what it was? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so definitely geek out with me in the comments and let me know. Otherwise, you can come on over to the Discord server. There's a link in the description below. We can talk about movies over there as well. Plus, of course, check out the uh, merchandise link, the Patreon link, and click that join button. See if it's something you're into. Um, you know, you might like it. I don't know. But you can also click the thumbs up button, more importantly, and give me that thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. And don't forget that we will get through this. We will get through this together. And now I'm going to get out of here so I can go watch some more stuff. I'll see you all later.